Hi guys, it's a weekend. It's my friend's son's birthday and we are in Connecticut and um, we're gonna have a good time. She came and picked us up this morning and we're already here. It took like an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. Me is in the back talking as usual. But um, she did really good with the car ride. She typically does good with um, car rides. She's not like a crier or anything. So. So, um, we're here. I'm kind of hungry. But we're here. I did my nails yesterday. They're so cute. They're not really so, mm hmm so cute and my toes are the same pink at the top here so excited i think i'm gonna either stay until because today's saturday morning i'm gonna stay until sunday night or ask her if she could drop us monday morning and that'd be fine because i work monday night maybe monday morning so we could like have like a full two days um here with her and stuff <laughs> Hello everyone. Well, we're starting the vlog in the kitchen again. Seems like a regular thing these days. It's almost midday and I'm giving Mia a little snack. This morning I came home from work and I was able to... The both of us slept and that was great. Uh, today I have class. See this teeny tiny banana baby. I'm watching Jackie I know. But also, today I have class, so I want to be well rested because this week, um, me isn't going anywhere. Um, so I want to be well rested for my class later on. Hey, baby. She loves just looking up at me, talking, and just smiles. Here's some banana as well. Enjoy. She likes banana. She likes avocado. She likes eggs. To be completely honest, she likes food in general. She has a really good relationship with food and I really strive to make sure that she does. She loves water. So she's having her little snack right now. I'm gonna make something to eat. And then I'm gonna sit here on my computer and do something that I'm trying to do on my phone that's not really working out, so. To see how that goes but i'm also watching jackie i know so um see you guys later i just wanted to check in and say hi hi guys it's currently 4 26 p.m and me and i slept us about two hours we um set up camp on the living room floor and we were just out for a good little bit so in addition to sleeping this morning when I got home, we also just slept. And I love that for us. Right now, I'm going to make a little bit of porridge because I'm feeling like it. And Mia quite likes porridge. So we're going to make some cornmeal porridge. Can I have made some oatmeal? I put her in her high chair because she's sitting on the floor right now. But honestly, she really is always picking stuff up and eating. And if you know anything about feeding a baby in a high chair, it's always food and stuff around the high chair. And now I feed her so often. Like she's in the high chair so often. She's looking at me sweeping it up. She's in the high chair so often. As much as I try to keep up with um, cleaning up around it, she always finds something anyway to be putting in her mouth. I'm always having to fish something out of her mouth. Like just now, so I had to just toss her in the high chair real quick. Because of that same issue of her like picking stuff up and putting in her mouth. Baby just find a way to find every little thing on the floor to kind of pick up. I have class today and today it's definitely going to go from 6 
to 840. Typically it would have been done by seven. We have a guest speaker this week and everything. Um, but last week she ended super early because she was having some technical issues with her computer. So she already prepared us and let us know that this week class would have gone the entire time. Also, every time I have to go somewhere with her, I, I realize how traveling with a baby is like, not really any walking apart because you have to pack all of their little things and stuff. So yeah. What is this lady saying? And when you go home, you need to apologize to your aunt. That's if she even wants to hear it, because I'm pretty sure she's so irritated with having to hear the same thing all the time. It's 4.31. My mom should be here soon. Maybe I should make enough porridge that she could get. I'm going to take this robot because it's hot. It's not really that cold outside anymore, so we'll be back. Hello, you guys. It's been a minute. But um, I changed my hair. I feel like every time I come on here, I have changed my hair. I'm wearing my um curly unit, but also I finally got the light in my entryway area fixed. So now it's nice and bright in this area again, and I absolutely love it. And not only did I get it fixed, my landlord also gave me a box with like a few more. <laughs> Just in case it goes bad. Honestly, it didn't look like it was hard to change when he was changing it. I don't know if I would attempt it. Clap your tiny hands. Clap your tiny hands. She loves clapping. But um, I'm about to get her in the shower. Tonight I'm, I have a holiday. Uh, last night I was off. So I'm about to get... Clap your tiny hands. She's looking for the camera. I'm about to get her in the shower and clean her up a little bit. She just had dinner. Tonight she had some fruits for dinner, a lot of it too, because I couldn't figure out what I was going to give her and by the time I was making it, she was already hungry. So I'm like, let me just give her some fruits really quickly. She had banana, blueberry, raspberry, pear. Uh, I think that was all she had um, and she really enjoyed those. She really likes fruits. So um, I've been trying to make sure that we always have stuff here. Every day my mom goes to the store and buys something else like a pear, an apple. I haven't given her an apple yet because I feel like apples are more hard. So like when she gets more teeth or I'd have to cut it up really thin. Honey, do not put anything in your mouth. Even though nothing is on the floor, I literally just wipe. But yeah, I'm going to also update. I've been sick for the last like five days. I was also Hi baby. I was also working, I was also working on it for the last five days and felt like it wasn't really going anywhere yeah I, I really hear her. <laughs> she looks so tiny in that little hallway but um yeah I, I was working on it taking dyquil dyquil nyquil sepical but now I feel like I'm at the tail end and I feel better which is really good my throat no longer hurts which is amazing I've been trying not to get me sick but today she has a fever and I can't tell if um, her fever is associated with her teething because she also has another uh, tooth coming in. She has one at the top already that already broke the gum and the other one is coming through. So she's like been in pain. Clap your tiny hands, baby. Your hands are so tiny. <laughs> Hi, girl. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I've been working on that. Now I feel a little bit better. I need to repurchase some Dayquil, Nyquil, and Sepical on Amazon to make sure that I have for the next time this sickness takes me out. Because you know, the flu, the cold, whatever is always going around, especially considering the fact that I work in a hospital. So I always have to make sure that I have those things on deck. I've moved this house plan from the living room to my entryway area here. And Miss Mia always crawls. <laughs> Clap your tiny hands, my love. Clap your tiny hands. Good job, baby. Good job, my love. Good job. <laughs> so she always comes in. Honey. She's digging in the dirt. Anyway, she's trying to get my attention. So I'm going to get her ready. Give her a little shower. Get her bottle ready and put her down. <laughs> Read a little story. Oh my God, the viewers' ears, honey. That's too loud. Okay, guys, bye.
Bye, B. You don't want me to talk to her friends? No talking.